Irfan Patan's top 10 wickets in his career. Number 10. In the fifth ODI of the India Tour of Pakistan on March 24, 2004, Irfan Patan produced a beautiful swing delivery to dismiss Pakistani opener Taufik Umar. He bowled a good length delivery that swung away from Umar. Patan's delivery was a masterclass in swing bowling, and it showcased his ability to move the ball both ways. Umar had no answer to the late swing, and the delivery left the Pakistani opener stunned. Number 9. In the first test of the India Tour of Zimbabwe on September 13, 2005, Irfan Patan produced a beautiful in-swing delivery to dismiss Zimbabwean batsman Dion Ibrahim. He bowled a good-length delivery that swung away late, beating the outside edge of Ibrahim's bat and crashing into the off stump. Patan's delivery was a masterclass in swing bowling. Number 8. In the second test of the Sri Lanka Tour of India on December 10, 2005, Irfan Patan produced a beautiful swing delivery to dismiss Sri Lankan tailender Malinga Bandera. He bowled a full-length delivery that swung in late and sharply, and ball hitting the top of the bales. Patan's delivery was a masterclass in seam bowling, and it showcased his ability to move the ball both ways even with old ball. Bandera had no answer to the late swing. Number 7. In the second T20 of the India Tour of New Zealand on February 27, 2009, Irfan Patan produced a brilliant delivery to dismiss New Zealand star batsman Ross Taylor with a Yorker. He bowled a perfect Yorker that swung in late and caught Taylor off guard. The ball sneaked through the gap between Taylor's bat and pad and hit the off stump, leaving the batsman stunned. Number 6. In the first test of the Australia Tour of India on October 6, 2004, Irfan Patan produced a sensational delivery to dismiss Australian opener Justin Langer with a reverse swinging delivery. He bowled a full-length delivery that swung in late, hitting the base of Langer's leg stump. The ball moved so late in the air that Langer, who had shouldered arms to play it through the leg side, had no idea where the ball was headed until it was too late. Number 5. In the fifth ODI of the South Africa Tour of India on November 28, 2005, Irfan Patan produced a brilliant swing delivery to dismiss South African all-rounder Andrew Hall. He bowled a full-length delivery that swung late and sharply away from Hall, crashing into the middle, stump. Hall had no answer to the late swing, and the delivery left the South African all-rounder stunned. Number 4. The first ODI between India and Sri Lanka in Nagpur on October 25, 2005, is remembered for Irfan Patan's stunning spell of swing bowling that saw him dismiss Sri Lankan opener Marvin Adipatu with a beautiful delivery. Patan bowled an inswinga that swung late and sharply towards Adipatu. The ball sneaked through the gap between Adipatu's bat and pad and crashed into the top of the off stump, leaving the Sri Lankan opener stunned. Number 3. The South Africa Tour of India in 2004 second test was played at the Eden Gardens in Kolkata from November 28 to December 2, 2004. Hashim Amla playing his debut series and Patan was on his way up. He bowled a good length delivery that swung late and sharply away from Hall and crashing into the off stump. Patan's delivery was a masterclass in swing bowling, and it showcased his ability to move the ball both ways even with an older ball. Number 2. In the fourth ODI of the Sri Lanka Tour of India on November 3, 2005, Irfan Patan produced a superb Yorker to dismiss Sri Lankan batsman Russell Arnold. He bowled a perfect Yorker that swung in late and trapped Arnold in front of the stumps. Arnold was completely beaten by the late movement and missed the ball completely, leaving the stumps exposed. Number 1. During the India Tour of Pakistan in 2006, in the third test match played at Karachi on January 29, 2006. When Irfan Patan, 
bowled a beautiful in-swing delivery to Muhammad Yusuf Patan's name in the record books for being the second Indian to take a test hat-trick and only the first to do so in the first over of a test match. Patan came up with perhaps his best delivery that day which swung late and it went through the right-hander's bat and pad. The ball cannoned into the stumps of the batter and he was bowled.